And one man has been killed. Hundreds of homes are thought to have been destroyed by wildfires in the Australian state of New South Wales. Time-lapse footage from the largest city, Sydney, I think you can see it now, shows smoke from the fires sweeping across the harbour there. Thousands of people spent the night in evacuation centres. 2,000 firefighters have been mobilised, but they have yet to reach some areas. I spoke just now to Daniel Petrowski, reporter at news.com.au. He's in Sydney. He said the situation is getting very serious. We're seeing the biggest bushfires that our state has seen in at least a decade. Um, you know, there are three major bushfire sites uh, around Sydney, uh, one of which was, was far west, one of which was north and one of which was south. But yesterday, the scenes here, even in the CBD, were extraordinary. We could see that the harbour, you know, our famous Sydney harbour, was, was black because that was the colour of the sky. And Daniel, I know you've got more hot weather forecast next week and it's not even summer yet. Oh, look, it, it's not looking good. Uh, it's forecast for Monday that, that, that temperatures are going to get as high as 35 degrees Celsius in, in areas which are affected by the fires, and they're expecting hot winds. But, look, it's unusual, but it's not unprecedented. Um, you might have heard in the past about our famous bushfires. That they tend to occur sort of around Christmas. Uh, in, in 2009, the Black Saturday bushfires, 173 people were killed. But you've got to remember that that was near Melbourne, uh, and this is near Sydney, and Sydney is in a completely different zone where we often have sort of dry temperatures leading up to uh, leading up to spring so look it, it's it's not it's unusual but it's not unprecedented Daniel this is not something I dare to say to somebody whose home has just been destroyed by all this but I was just speaking to a friend who lives outside Sydney and he said you do have to wonder kind of why people keep living in the middle of forests Oh, uh, look, I think that's a little bit unfair given that, you know, there are vast swathes of the Australian landscape which are, you, you know, purely bushland. Uh, you know, you can't sort of escape living in bushland. Uh, it's, that's, that's probably not a fairest of uh, com comparisons. It's sort of like saying, you know, uh, w w people have got to stop living in the UK because it's so wet.